Hi, I'm Kirby with Augustine eBikes, and thanks for watching our YouTube channel. I hope the videos we put together every week for you are entertaining, educational. I hope you learn something from them because we enjoy making them just for you guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe below. Thanks so much for watching all of our videos. Today I'm going to be doing some hill climbing. Uh, living here in Northern California, surrounded by the Santa Cruz Mountains, there's no way to avoid hills. It's part of an everyday ride, no matter which direction you ride in. So I'm going to show you some of the best hills. The one I'm about to start with is Rio Del Mar Boulevard in Rio Del Mar. And it's about a half mile climb and starts out with a really steep 14% grade. Goes up about a quarter of a mile and then turns into a roughly 10 to 8% grade that continues for the rest of the half mile. It's, it's long, it's brutal. I've ridden this without the motor and I can tell you this is one hell of a hill. But I wanted to show this to you. This is a 1,000 watt engine and what it can do. Now, I'm clearly pedaling along with this. It could throttle through this, but you probably burn through the uh, battery pretty quickly and put a lot of stress on the uh, hub motor. But pedal assist is something I do all the time anyhow, and I recommend it as much as possible because it's good for your battery, it's good for your engine, and it's good for you. I'm going up about 16 miles an hour most of the time on this, on this really severe grade. You can see people walking, struggling to get up the hill. It's, uh, it's a pretty grueling hill. So one of the things to think about when um, using an e-bike, there's a lot of variables that come into play. You hear a lot, of, a lot of facts about range of your battery and power and all those things. A lot of those are based on lots of different conditions, wind being one of them. You're going to get a lot more power with a tailwind than a headwind. Uh, your body weight, your, your basic overall physical fitness, things of that sort really do play into it. Here's my 8% grade. This next hill is uh, about an 11% grade, uh, fairly short, uh, but, but a tough hill uh, to climb with, without the motor. This is uh, State Park Drive at Seacliff State Beach, uh, south of Santa Cruz. And um, it comes up on you pretty quickly, but you can just basically see how easily the bike is handling this. Uh, you're seeing people walking up, obviously. And um, again, at, this is after a 35 mile ride. I have plenty of battery left to get up this. Uh, the motor takes it really easily, and I'm not even throttling as fast as I can on this. So again, but this is also with pedal assist. This is Perimeter Drive, and it goes, wraps around the back of Cabrillo College in Aptos. And this is about a 9% grade, but it just goes on forever. And it comes up really quickly to get to the top of this hill, and then eventually it'll level off in the back of Cabrillo College. But it's a great, a great exercise in hill climbing. And you can see that car is probably going about probably just a hair under 20, and I'm about 14 miles an hour on this 9% grade. This last hill is a uh, short, very aggressive hill that um, hits as much as 22% grade and then levels off to about 11 to 12% grade, but very, very tough climb. Um, but you can see basically how, how this motor can handle this and the, uh, the power needed to get up this hill. Ends, of course, with a beautiful view of the Pacific Ocean. That's hill climbing with the 1,000 watt e-bike.